So in this video we're going to look at whether placing weight high or low on a trailer has an effect on a trailer sway. So we've got our model again when we've placed the weight at the back and it's low, give it a bit of a tap and as you can see it pretty much comes back into line. And thank you to toed.com.au for working with me on this video. So we give it a bit more of a tap now and you can see there it is finally starting to sway but it's actually slowly damping out that sway it's certainly not getting uh, much worse okay so what we do now is we take that weight off and we're going to put exactly the same weight again, uh, again on and exactly the same horizontal position but this time it's uh, much higher up get it lined up perfectly that's no sway at the moment and we're just going to do absolutely nothing. Now when this model is in effect traveling on the treadmill it's not perfectly straight as you can see a little bit of sway is starting to set in now and we haven't even touched it and you can see it's just getting worse and worse and worse and sway has begun anyway and that's not damping out that's just getting much worse and worse and worse. So placing the weight high has definitely had a negative effect on the trailer. Now we press the brakes to cancel the sway and what we're going to do now is we are going to put, this, um, put that weight on to the center and we'll see what effect that has. Now I've demonstrated this before in other videos and you can see now it's super stable. We'll just give it a tap and it sort of comes straight back in because it's the same weight and you, um, and you can see that's damping out fairly well now. It's the same weight but because it's more central um, then that means that there's less sway. You can see that that sway is sort of damped out there. And the rig has now settled. Okay, now what we're going to do is take the weight off and we're going to put it onto the back again just to demonstrate the difference. And we're just going to leave it for a moment now give it a bit of a tap and you can see the difference there between moving that exact same weight forwards and backwards so this is why you need to always centralize your weight and I've got another video where we go into a lot of detail where we move weights forwards and backwards and change weights on the tow car as well and demonstrate the effect of trader stability and sway. Now this is where we show both at the same time with the weight in the same horizontal position but different vertical positions and just look at the difference there. So when it's not, uh, when it's at the low position we can tap it and you know it, it will actually damp out slowly. It does take a bit of a tap to, to actually get into sway there but with the same weight in the vertical position it actually begins swaying um, of its own accord and you can see there um, just how much worse it is. So if you want to know why weight high is bad and low is good then please watch this video because I go into a fair bit of detail and explain exactly why that is the case. So anyway I hope you found this video useful please like subscribe share etc and thanks for watching any questions put them in the comments.